The Bridge at Andaw is a historical novel about the 1956 Hungarian Revolution by American author James Michener, published only a year after the revolution. The novel is a realistic take on the true political and social events that took place in its immediate aftermath, using fictional personae to protect the individuals whom Michener interviewed. Michener describes the tense relationship between citizens and police in the city of Budapest that gave rise to a sudden military assault against innocent protesters, many of whom were students. The Budapest event signified Hungarians' resistance to a government which was effectively a satellite power of the Soviet Union, and led to several months of mass murder. Using a series of interrelated plots and perspectives from Hungarians who suffered, Michner chronicles the Hungarian Revolution while demonstrating that it amounted to nothing greater than an attack on democracy. The novel consists mainly of the stories of students and other young adults in their teens and twenties who, intentionally or unintentionally, became entangled in the revolution. During the initial revolt in Budapest, Michner was himself at the titular bridge at Anda, near the parliament building where Hungarian military forces killed the first student, the moment usually credited for starting the war. The many interviews he conducted as Hungarians passed by him shared a similar motivation for rebelling. They felt the brutal impact of the Soviets' brand of communism both economically and socially. The Soviets desired to control virtually every Hungarian institution, even seeking to define rules for social arrangements such as families. To achieve its goals, the Soviets instilled a climate of paranoia that squelched people's impulses to exercise their legal rights to free speech and open debate. Ordinary citizens began to fear that their friends and neighbors were foreign spies. Unusually, even the elite was not protected from these fears, and Hungarian political and economic bureaucracies succumbed to fear. The Soviet government, using Hungary as its puppet, blatantly utilized inhumane interrogation and torture tactics, liberally imprisoned citizens without a trial or another due process, and executed suspected spies without conclusive evidence. Michener moves between these narratives of horror with the objective voice of a reporter, using graphic imagery sparingly while acknowledging that the revolution was indeed a bloody conflict. The first acts of violence near the bridge at Andaw snowballed through Budapest and the rest of Hungary, ensnaring people from all walks of life, from the impoverished working class to rural families to members of the secret police. Though larger in number, the rebel forces lacked the weaponry, efficiency, or organization of the Soviet-Hungarian military. They had little defense against the huge steel tanks that rolled throughout the city, destroying many of its buildings and infrastructure. Amidst the chaos, Michner chronicles the short victory claimed by Budapest's people in the early days of the revolution, before the Soviet launched a second military wave that decimated the city. The triumph, however short-lived, signified Hungarians' will to build solidarity and democracy. In 1996, the bridge at Andal was restored, in homage to the thousands of Hungarian citizens who lost their lives fighting for a freer Hungary. The bridge at Andal is a work of profound insight into the real stories of Hungarians in the first decade of the Cold War. Michner's many interviews cumulatively suggest that Hungarians had a unified national spirit that ultimately proved a match for their significantly more powerful Soviet oppressors, foreshadowing the conditions for the fall of the Soviet Union decades later. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.